What's going on, Internet? The Black Cow here, aka TVH. And to be honest, another week, another episode of Black Clover to review. Funimation just released episode 15, dubbed, because that's how I watch it, in case you didn't know, we dub gang. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, episode 15. Uh, this one is titled The Diamond Mage, and that is because. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, there's a new enemy on the horizon. It's starting to finally feel like the show is getting a proper arc or saga, if you will, a proper villain. Uh, this episode, let's just get it out of the way. Episode 15 was lit, and I can't wait for episode 16. And I was correct. If you caught, if you caught last week's review of episode 14, I predicted that this episode was a little bit slow because it was probably a setup. Um, if you missed that review, there will be a link in the description box below because we are doing weekly analysis of Black Clover. All right, so episode 15, The Diamond Mage. It starts exactly where 14 left off. The kids are in the dungeon, and uh, you know saves. <laughs> I can't get over the fact that his name is, you know, you know. Uh, like, what are we talking about today? Black Clover, you know. <laughs> but anyway, you know, and the squad saves Asta and his squad. Uh, because Luck ditches him somewhere at, when they first entered the dungeon or whatever the shit is called while they're looking for the treasure. Um, and once you know saves them, they start interacting and they start acting. You start seeing the dynamic between the two different groups. You have the prestigious Golden Dawn, you have them, and then you have the Black Bulls, which I feel like they should have called them the Black Sheep because really that's what the group is, a group of misfits. Uh, it just makes more sense, but whatever. Uh, you see them interact with each other. You see Noel interact with who we find out is her cousin, uh, I, 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 and correct me if I'm wrong, I'm, I'm probably wrong, but it sounded like Four Eyes is what Asta called him because I don't remember his name. It sounded like Four Eyes called Noel's cousin Mimosa. Is she an alcohol, alcoholic beverage? Like, what the? I, I don't know. All I know is I don't like her because she's a passive aggressive bitch. Uh, but we respect women, okay? But, uh, she is a passive aggressive bitch. But anyway, she's like low key, like talking shit, Noel or whatever, because she can't control her abilities. And, uh, she's like, oh, you didn't know Asta? Me and her are cousins. And last time I seen her was at the family reunion up in the castle. But now you a broke bitch down with the black bulls and shit. Karma gets, uh, Mimosa or Amorosa or whatever the hell her name is later in the episode. We're going to talk about that. Um, and then Asta's interacting with four eyes, which I think will be a dynamic that we're going to see more and more throughout the show as you know, and, uh, Asta's groups interact with one another. Four eyes is basically talking shit to Asuka saying you're beneath me, blah, blah, blah. It's like, we get it, bro. You're royalty. Um, Asta's like, I'm with the shits. I'll beat your ass, blah, blah, blah. Then it cuts to us finding out that the diamond kingdom is expanding now. I was actually confused. I don't. I don't read the manga. I don't or manga. However you pronounce it, I don't do that shit. I just watch the damn show. I thought it was just the Black Clover, and I thought the, the Black Clover. I thought it was just the Clover Kingdom, and it was just one big kingdom. But apparently, there are other kingdoms, like rival kingdoms or whatever. And we find out in the episode that the Diamond Kingdom is running low on resources, so they're finding themselves having to invade the Clover Kingdom. Um, and maybe, maybe that's why the Wizard King sent both the Black Bulls and the Golden Dawn. Uh, because he felt like maybe they needed a little bit more help than uh, anticipated with this mission. Maybe he knew that there was an invasion going on. And we also found out that the Wizard King has a relationship with one of the people from the uh, Diamond Kingdom. Who what was his name? So he goes by Lotus the Abbey, which is a fucking stupid ass name. But we find out that Lotus the Abbey uh, fought the Clover King, which I would imagine the Clover King, the Wizard King at some point in their youth. Um, I would imagine the Wizard King won because he's the king and Lotus the Abbey is still a, a pawn in the uh, other kingdom's army or whatever. But I found that to be interesting. Maybe we'll get to see some more backstory on that. Um, and then we also found out during one of the battles, which we'll cut to that. Um, well, Asta and Four Eyes are getting into a rose battle. Uh, Luck is uh, fighting some of the Diamond Kingdom's uh, minions, right? And Lotus the Abbey happens to be there, and he's witnessing Luck put all this effort into beating all his minions up. And he's like, bravo, bravo, you beat all my minions, I don't care, they're pawns. Um, and then they get into it, and they start fighting. And can we just talk about Luck? Luck is an interesting character. Um, maybe maybe the Black Bulls captain sent him because his name is Luck, and he just happens to always be lucky in battles. But this is also the dude who's, like, addicted to fighting. Uh, am I the only one that finds this character to be weird? Like, he's, he's always got, like, these beady-ass eyes. It, it looks like he's always high off Red Bull or something like that. And it's just like, like, I, I don't know, man. Like the way he 
if you pay attention to him, the way he opens his eyes when he's getting ready to fight, it reminds me a lot of the way JG sees a booty when he's getting ready to eat it. Like, he just gets so fucking excited. And the shit's just weird. It's just weird. Like, I I'm probably going to put some images on the screen so you guys can see what I'm talking about. It's just like... He just looks like a fucking ass eater, man. Let me know in the comments. Y'all think Luck looks like an ass eater? Uh, let me know. I, I Maybe that's one of his low-key magical abilities. I don't know. I don't know. So, long story short, uh, Luck finally gets into it after beating up all the minions. Gets into a fight with Lotus the Abbey. And I was like, oh, shit. This episode about to turn up. So, they're starting to duke it up or whatever. Duke it out or whatever. Uh, Lotus is just running away from him. And I, you couldn't help but feel like he was setting something up. And I was correct. So after a couple of minutes of uh, Luck just striking at him, he was being kind of naive, young, just trying to use raw power to overpower him. Lotus shows his battle prowess, uh, prowess I mean, uh, shows his experience, and he reveals, like, okay, so uh, what was it? What's, what, what's his name? It's Luck. Luck starts coughing, uh, like, his lungs, like, he can't handle it. He, like, before, he was just running super fast, swinging at him with all these electrical abilities, and next thing you know, he can't breathe. He's on his knees. <coughs> He's on his knees like he was just smoking some of that Cali good weed like some of that some of that perp some of that I don't know I don't know what y'all weed smokers be smoking because I don't smoke but if I did he'd be smoking some of that good shit right so he's on his knees <laughs> and he's smoking and what's the name Lotus reveals that yo you're a fucking idiot luck while you've been over here swinging your fucking heart out I've been playing your ass the whole time he revealed that he has this magic ability that he can summon that uh he can create this smog this smoke that's so thin that the human eye can't see it and slowly over time it starts to fill your lungs and it incapacitate, incapacitate your ability to uh, actually do combat because obviously you need the air in your lungs to fight um and it's like as soon as he revealed that i was like well, when when the hell did he do that so then it quickly goes into the backstory and he explains while luck was blinded by combat fighting all the diamond mages minions uh lotus was in the cut just powering up uh, filling the room with the smog and Lug's dumbass wasn't even paying attention the whole time so now Luck is on the ground <laughs> smoking on some of the best Cali weed that he ever had in his lung and Lotus is just like yo you a bitch I beat your ass I'm gonna still beat your ass and then I'm gonna beat your ass again and then he reveals that he's like oh shit Lotus is like oh shit ain't you one of them black bulls I see you got that little black bull joint like that little shirt or whatever with the, with the symbol or whatever and then Luck was like yeah I'm a black bull <laughs> and he was like damn you know I fought your captain back in the day so I'm like bro who is this dude he fought the wizard king he fought the black bulls captain uh, and he reveals that he got his ass beat by the black bulls captain cause yeah and he reveals like he has like a scar on his chest I would have thought maybe he got like breast reduction surgery or some shit like that but it, it turned out nah he had a scar on his chest cause uh, the black bulls captain beat his ass so, so after he reveals that he's like yo you a bitch luck I beat your ass, you defeated, and he's like, bon voyage, and he starts walking away. Then the camera cuts, and this was the most interesting part of the episode. The camera cuts back to, you know, with the uh, Golden Dawn Knights, or whatever the hell they call themselves, uh, and there's this dude who's, like, walking, this mysterious dude who's walking on diamonds or whatever. He can just summon diamonds on his feet. I'm like, yo, this is a badass motherfucker. Like, this is a Michael Jackson, uh, Billie Jean shit when he was walking on the white lights. That's what it looked like. Um, and he's just walking on the lights like Billy Jean and shit. And out of nowhere, he summons some diamonds out of the ground. And remember when I said at the beginning of this review, this is when karma came into play. The dude summons the diamonds out the ground and they go inside the pussy of Amorosa or Mimosa, whatever the hell her name is. So, and like the crazy part is like, it was uncensored. Like there was blood and shit. Like the diamonds shot straight up this bitch's pussy, bro. I was like, yo, like I know she probably wanted something hard. But diamond is the hardest element on earth. I don't think she wanted something that hard in her vagina. So her vagina is full of fucking diamond. And diamonds and all in the coochie and shit. And she's bleeding and she coughing up blood. And Four Eyes is like, who the fuck is you? And then it reveals who I think is going to be the new, the first real villain in Black Clover. Uh, dude had a bunch of like diamond piercings all over his face. Looked like fucking Black China or some shit. Shit looked weird. But dude you could tell is a badass he's on a different type of level while she was getting diamonds all in a coochie uh what's her name noel and Astar are looking for the treasure and they find the treasure chest which has like little feet and it scurries it scurries all against the wall and shit and then Asta finally catches it and he opens it and it was a treasure chest full of internal organs it was like spleens and, and like hearts and lungs in that bitch 
and like Asta ends up throwing up, and then it cuts to the diamonds of the Kushi. But it couldn't. It made I, I couldn't help but wonder uh, why did the why did the Wizard King send them to go find a treasure chest full of internal organs? Maybe they needed them. Maybe there's not a lot of like organ donors in the Clover Kingdom, and the Wizard King needed those organs for like surgery for like people who needed it. Maybe they got good health care or something over there. And then like earlier we mentioned uh the Lot Lotus he had mentioned the reason they're invading the Clover Kingdom is they're running low on supplies or on resources. But the thing is he just used the word resources. Now, if they're in that dungeon fighting for that treasure chest, those were the resources. Were they also fighting for like kidneys and stuff? Is like the Diamond Kingdom low? Are they low on organs? Like they don't have a lot of organ donors uh in there and they need it for like surgery or something. Uh so it'll be interesting to see how that plays out so after the diamond coochies and the organs uh like i said fucking my bad the the, the organ thing is gonna be e it's gonna be interesting to play out because i think it'll be are, are they fighting over like illegal body parts and stuff like that like this is like some dark wicked stuff uh and then finally before old boy gets out of the uh dungeon the one that's like bon voyage we put all the smoke in lux young's young's lungs he's uh this is when the plot armor kicks in this is when it starts to become anime the plot armor kicks in for luck. He's like, wait a minute. I'm lucky. And then he just starts breathing all heavily. And then he powers up and he enters his avatar state where he no longer has lightning on his feet, but also on his hands. He has lightning claws and he stands up and he breaks the spell and he's ready to beat Lotus's ass. And then that's when the episode cuts. So uh, I definitely I, I'm hoping I, for the most part, I enjoyed the episode. I'm hoping in the next episode they explain how luck was able to withstand his the smog in his lungs and power up like that because i hate when anime does that anime plot shit that plot armor shit where they just become powerful out of nowhere i need an explanation for that at least they had an explanation for how the lung uh got full of the smoke when he was over there casting the spell and stuff like that and also what's going to happen to amorosa uh she already got kicked out the white house so are they going to keep the diamonds in her coochie is she going to die that'd be a terrible way to die uh maybe you know can like uh like heal her vagina or something like that because it's got a lot of diamonds in it uh but then again uh, diamonds are a girl's best friend so she could get a power up a power boost from all the diamonds in her pussy um but yeah this has been <laughs> overall very positive episode very action-packed can't wait to see what happens in the next one especially that we have a new villain that's revealed looks like i said uh the show is finally starting to climax like there's a proper arc a proper villain going on here so i can't wait to see what happens in episode 16 i know some of you uh that watch the sub thank you for not spoiling it for those of us who watch the dub in the comment section i know a lot of you guys said it really turns up in episode 17 because i know the sub is like a couple episodes ahead of the dub uh but yeah once again thank you got a cool anime audience on my channel thank you guys for not spoiling it for those of us who watch the dub um and if you guys want to watch the dub like me uh know that it premieres every sunday at 4 p.m on Funimation. If you don't have a Funimation account, uh, head into the description box below. Use the code the Black Hokage. Uh, it'll give you a 14-day free trial on Funimation. And then once your 14-day free trial is over, the first month is only 99 cents. Just use my code the Black Hokage at checkout. There's a link in the description box below to where you can get all that info. Um, other than that, like I said, great episode. Uh, leave a like on the video if you enjoyed the uh, conversation. If you guys like my anime reviews. And also leave a comment in the comment section below. What did you think of episode 15, The Diamond Mage? What do you think is going to happen in episode 16? Other than that, uh, I will see you guys next week, next Sunday, for the next analysis of Black Clover. Also, let me know, is there any other anime I should be watching? Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys next week. Perish. And thanks for watching my video. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button and tap the bell icon so you'll never miss another video. Also, consider pledging my Patreon. It helps keep the lights on. There's a link in the description box below. Peace.